in Sham, so still going to be looking for him. He can go off at absolutely any moment. Looks like he's in those tags, those stuns going out left-hand side. So he's aware that a few players are going to be around this vicinity. He's not too sure exactly where. Thanks to Cod Vision, we'll engage that for you all. You see Burns off is that player. He got those tags on. The bomb, however, is in the hands of TP down that right-hand side, obviously up the top of back, back perch. And these guys are just going to slow the round down and try and get first pick. Yeah, and everyone from Automatic Reload right now coming on the flank, and it looks like Optic Nation has no idea. BL Fire picking up TP, and now he knows exactly where the bomb is. Now they have one player, two players over there, excuse me, with control of that. So Optic Nation in a tough spot. There's also a player by B who has not moved in the longest time. It's going to be Burns off right next to the B bomb site, and it looks like Optic Nation is just a little bit confused as to where everybody is. As BL Fire in another corner was able to pick up Carmen, taking that one as well. Killer trying to challenge to get a kill, but now a two on four. Yeah, Killer is saying glowing red, but doesn't get taken out. Just has to head down through the showers and into its pool. There's a player out there from the AR squad. It's going to be a burn, oh, it was Burns. I'm oh, sorry, Wheats is actually still down there towards the day side of things. Burns is still chilling in the same situation he's been. Burns hasn't moved since the start. He's just got to that corner and waited and watched for as long as he could. He should be able to get a kill here as well. You do have BL Fire down that right hand side as both these players of Killer and Miracles push up towards B. Will they check that corner? That's the question. Killer doesn't really look at it there too long enough. And it's going to be now Burns up in a 1v1 one, one, one trade there, trying to get the kill on Miracles. And Miracles aware, not enough time to plant the bomb. Thinks about what he could do. He had two players to kill, and it was no chance he's going to get to wait to still down at A. Yeah, Burns off pretty much didn't move for the first like minute and 23 seconds of that entire match, and it ended up paying off for him. So Burns off, probably one of the most patient plays I've seen in Call of Duty thus far, thus far sitting for the entire round. Weeds getting a final kill on Miracles, who really was just an extremely tough situation in that final 1v1. So we enter round number two now. Obviously onto the attack, it will be the AR squad now. If we have a look at the players, well, there's the Amelie coming out. No, decides against it, but I'll find myself for another round, he says. Instead of using that film, he's going to be the man on a bomb heading towards A very quickly here. But usually you see this, he'll head A very quickly, then slow it down. Yeah, and it looks like Optic Nation has been able to react to that very quickly. They're putting a bunch of pre nades down over that, that by that B bomb site. So as soon as nothing connected, they immediately went back to focus on A. But the bomb is going to be planted. Kill is going to be able to take out a kill. Wheats is going to be able to pick up Miracle. Is going to have a 3v3, 38 seconds. Kill then able to trade that kill and get Wheats. TP is able to take out Burns off. BL Fire, last one alive at 2 and no though. Has an easy <laughs> kill, but he's going to be very smart and just let these players run past him and try and get a two-piece right here. Nice work there by BL5. It's not, not challenged at all. He's got two players now pinching in from both sides, and they're not going to add none of that again. Poor old TP was the bait, more or less. He's there on the bomb site trying to get that sneaky defuse. Well, his teammates hunted for that kill, but they will get the defuse nonetheless, and that score will become 1 1 here on SD Terrace. Yeah, and great stuff out of BL Fire to try and waste as much time as possible, but obviously in a 1v3, not much he can do. He's forced to go out there and get that kill on TP. So 1v1 round count, and so far we haven't seen any sniper rivals, which I shouldn't have done and talked about them, but that's not going to matter because right now both these teams are playing relatively aggressively outside of Burns Off, chilling the whole time. So we're going to have two players right now from Octane Nation run straight up through mid-map. Miracles leading that charge. Killa was also able to get a pre-nade on top of Weeds, giving them the man advantage early on. Yeah, the sense of Miracles trying to get sneaky and jump up there on the top of the terrace. Couldn't make it up and high enough, though. He does, however, manage to stay alive after getting hit and tagged from behind. Anticity does pick up on TP after TP picked up his team out of BL Fire. Carmen and Trace went off with Burns up in it. And there's the last kill there for Miracles to grab the round here for ON. 2-1 the score and it becomes here in game number five. And you know, you were right. It's a very strong round. The, the aggressiveness of ON showing right now with both Miracles and Karma that round. Yeah, exactly. Pushing straight through the mid-map, but, you know, Killa again on a force kill streak. <laughs> it looks like he might make this the Killa show once again and start to show again. I'd like to remind you, in that first game, if you're just now joining us, ended up going on like an eight or nine streak. Something absolutely ridiculous. Had a phenomenal game, and sitting at five and one, looks to be doing the exact same thing, helping out Optic Nation, putting them up two rounds to one. Here with now, Burns off. He does have that Moore's thermal out. He's looking to try and pick off a player who might be dashing across. He does see Killa quickly, but can't finish him off. Killa dashing out of the way there at the last moment before that ball came across. Weeks will find Miracles though as Killer hits one on BL Fire making it now a 3v3 situation here. Minute 10 on the clock slowing things down as Weeks picks up the second kill there on Killer and shutting down that streak. Yeah, both teams kind of simultaneously deciding when to pull up the sniper rifles. You saw two out of Optic Nation, but it does not seem to be working out for them as Karma is going to be your last one alive in 1v3. And he has been spotted, and all three players from Automatic Reload are basically using the buddy system, working together. But Karma is actually going to be able to kind of slip through the cracks, but that kill is going to get finished off as he misses the punch. 2-2 round count, Automatic Reload has tied it up.
these guys get set up around number five here on SD Terrace. Of course, for those that are wondering what the SD score was on Solo, it was six to three in Optic Nation's favor. So if you're just joining us now, there you go. And of course, with the big streak the killer went on, he was trying to do it again here, but he did get shut down that round instead. So onto the attack they go once again. Now I'm going to give TP some lives on one and four. Show it. Do it for the stream now, TP. You need to do something and mix it up as he pulls out the belt. Yeah, last round he tried to go with the sniper rifle and I believe missed a few shots and that's probably why you're seeing him switch back. Switching back to what works as they actually have switched it up and gone with an insanely slow push. TP has not left the spawn, he has a teammate with him. You do have Miracles that is highlighted on your screen, pushed up pretty far again in mid-map, but Anticity getting that first blood on Killa and shutting Killa down is doing the best for Optic Nation right now is going to be huge for Automatic Reveal. Really. Yeah, obviously they're worried during that attacking round prior, they did have players of AR push them heavily on that right-hand side from A and coming from around behind them. So Obviously, that's why they were sitting up and set up like they were just then, hoping that they'd do that again, and this time be able to actually get the kills quicker that time around. So BL Fire on that A defense. TP here looking to push on up. Sees him there, get some tags on him. Will he challenge? No, he's got his teammate of Karma right beside him. As Karma will pick up BL Fire, making it now a 2v3 situation. And then Miracles will take down Weeks as well. Burns off with the Amelia out thermal, picks up Miracles. Yeah, that's exactly what I like to see. I like to see the mix of weapons, the Thermal Melee, obviously being one of the more popular anti-meta choices, but he's going to be in a tough situation. It looks like TP is going to be putting this bomb down, but he is on the hunt. If he can just kill this player and dip out, he's going to be in a good situation. He is going to be able to get away. Karma probably going to be challenging right away, though, able to clean up that kill. Tough situation. Burns off just wasn't quite sure where to look, so Optic Nation using the man advantage to their advantage and going up 3-2. to two. Yeah, definitely. You see Burns up there just trying to dash away. He hit that flag and was trying to get away even faster and further, but couldn't do it. Karma popped up straight away and picked up the kill to grab the round for the ON squad. These guys heading to round number six now here on this game number five matchup. And Burns off stored that thermal melee out. So we'll stay with him. I just want to see if he can get an early pick off with that gun. Obviously, as he decides, it looks like he might hit the defensive side and just chill back for a little bit while his teammates on that right hand push will head in towards the A side of things. And I do remember last round where we had brought up that TP isn't having the greatest games of 1 and 5, but we have seen three different times now where he's essentially just been the bait for his team. Last round, he got picked off. As soon as he planted the bomb, there's another time where we went on the fuse. So TP, despite not having the greatest kill death ratio, is doing a perfect job for his OBJ support style role, giving his team the kill. But if he got picked off, that just would have been his fault. But Burns off, able to get Killa with the thermal melee. That is going to give them the advantage at the start of this round, 4 men to 3. BL Fire still on our screens now though, Bomb still in that hands, he's looking ahead and rotate back around to this B side of things, he's got Wheats right in front of him there, like he said, 4-3 to three on that scoreline in regards to the players left alive, now making a 2v3 situation, we've got Miracles and TP still up for ON, Burns up and Wheats, with Anticity still up as well here from the AR squad, as they try and challenge there, Anticity could not get the shots on a player, no one outside the hotel entrance, so Wheats will find TP, now it's going to be Miracles in a 1v3 situation, two players in front, couldn't clutch on any of those kills, so it becomes now 3-3 on the scoreboard in regards to rounds done and dusted. And these guys are taking it back and forth round for rounds right now. So this is indeed a lot closer than what the S&D on Solar was. Like I said, it was a 3-1 at one stage, and then Owen came back and won five rounds in a row to take it 6-3. So right now this one's back and forth, neck for neck. And something I believe I might be correct on this. I'm not entirely sure my memory. A little bit shaky, but all the rounds that Automatic Reload have won, it's just that that's when they've just gone all forward down for Optic Nation, just outselling their opponents. And Optic yes. Nation is winning all the rounds when they're working the bomb, doing stuff like that, baiting people out. So a little bit different sort of play style, but, you know, it's just the way that these rounds happen to go down. So right now we're going to see a pretty standard A push out of Optic Nation. It's going to work out great for them as they go up four men to two. See TP with that bomb once again down here on that A side of things. Hasn't put it down just yet, though. So he's not too sure where those last two players are going to be coming from. You do have Burns off working that flank, and you still have Wheat over on the B side of things, watching that defensive. TP just he's not he's not he doesn't have the courage right now to actually put that bomb down. He's just too concerned that there's going to be a flank or someone's going to challenge him at this last moment. So he's got a teammate coming back for him here. Burns will find miracles, and there's the challenge now from Wheat. Wheat is putting shots into bedrooms there. Can't finish off that kill though. Can't will find Burns off. So it's Wheat down to one v three. TP feeling a bit more confident now to get that bomb down with his teammates around him to give him that defensive part of it all. And you've got to watch out as well for poor Karma, who's right at the back there watching and waiting for these players to push up. It's going to be a waste of long shot, but then Killer with the challenge to grab the round. Four and three, the score now becomes. 
Yeah, you could definitely see Pavlov's influence on TP right there. Every single time he goes near a bomb site, he has been killed immediately after he plants. So like three or four times right there, he's just kind of playing with it. But obviously it's in TP's head that if he plants a bomb, he's going to die. But no, <laughs> all jokes here. Wheats not quite able to clutch up. He was stuck in a very tough situation right there being a 1v3. He ended up taking out Karma, but he ended up getting shot in the back after his position got revealed. So now going back on board with TP, it looks like he's going to be working down by this A bomb site. And he's definitely going to be running it into quite a few automatic reload, automatic reload players who are pushing up very aggressively on the A bomb side. Yeah, you'll see there BL Fire coming up very hard and fast into Karma's space. TP though, inside bedroom there, just watching and waiting. I'm not quite sure if he realized that the bomb is starting to go down. Will he go for that sneaky defuse? He comes out very quickly to pick up BL and now looking to try and get some trades off here. Anticity will find Miracles, making it now a 2v3 situation. Killer crossing over back from B. TP gets his second kill of the round there on Anticity. So right now we're going to be on board with Killer. 2v2, just trying to work it, trying to spot a player about. I believe he knows that Weeds is over in this area. Weeds is going to spot him as well, though, so he's going to jump up and take down Killa. All up to TP now, trying to do everything he can, trying to hunt down Weeds, but Weeds has completely dipped out of the area, and I don't believe he actually spotted that player over mid-map, but he definitely saw him this time. Going to try and be on the hunt, but only 11 seconds work. Able to get that kill. Still one player left alive, and that's going to be Burns off. Burns off playing it smart. TP able to connect with the kill, but that is not going to matter. The bomb is going to explode. And again, we go back to that round for round situation. Now it becomes from four for four here with eight rounds now gone. We could be seeing that golden round 11. And I actually haven't casted a round 11 yet this weekend. Uh, there's a first time for everything, and I think this might be the one. We said at the very beginning we were expecting to be a game five, and it's been a very competitive back and forth style match, especially that first hard point I want to talk about again, just going back and forth, switching leads like crazy. And yeah. we've seen a bit of the same thing in the search destroy, just back and forth. No one doing outstanding well, everyone just playing their game, going back and forth. Wheats getting that ever important first blood on Miracles and Anticity picking up Karma as well, looking great right now for AR. Just mentioned as well though, TP definitely turning his game up now. He's on seven and six on a six kill streak. Coming after that last round there. He's still alive right now in a 1v3 situation here. Wheats burns off and BL fire for the AR squad. All still up and alive while TP figures what he can do. He's got one player to go up against if he goes towards B. It usually was Wheats this time around. It will be BL fire though as burns off and Wheats both realistically rotating back between A and B. Sticking in that middle mark area just to try and you know hit a bomb site quickly if they need to. In this past round, when TP was the last one alive, he was actually able to clean up three of the AR players and able to get a two-piece at the very end, though. They didn't have enough time, so now he's got 37 seconds to work with. He's going to need to make sure that he does not run out of time. He's going to want to get at least one early pick, and he has a player under him who didn't actually hear him, and now players from AR just shooting, trying to draw out TP. TP does spot one player, not going to pick him off, and the players from AR in a position to trade. TP is going to go down 5-4 round count in favor of AR. AR there coming back. He's going to try and get this round number six perhaps, but you know, if anything to go off, that's actually, I think that's the first team to get two consecutive rounds in a row here in this SMD. I think so far it's been like 1 1, 1 1, 1 1, 1 1. But AR has picked up an attacking and a defensive round there, so obviously they'll be feeling pretty confident if they can get their attacking round again and heading into this next one. Obviously, they all did die during that last attacking round, but the bomb did blow up, so that's where they, so they got that one away from. And this right now is do or die for Optic Nation as the loser of this game is going to be in the loser's bracket, going to be facing elimination, and Miracles is going to go down by the hands of Burns off immediately. Killer able to get that trade, though, but it's going to go down to Anticity. So right now you're going to have a three-man advantage in favor of Opti or Automatic Reload, excuse me, and BL Fire is going to get the bomb down. The last two players for Optic Nation are nowhere near the bomb right now, and they have a massive accomplishment in front of them that they're going to need to face. It's basically a mountain of Automatic Reload players going to put themselves in a position to stop this push. You'll see now TP now pushing up the stairs first. You've got Karma right behind him though. Two player push. Great work again. Great teamwork by Karma and TP. And since he comes out of nowhere though, picks up one from behind. Can he turn around on him? TP still staying alive though in a 1v1. There's the kill. There's the round. Six and four the score becomes. And AR just sent ON down to that loser's bracket. That was an extremely close to the very end, though. They didn't have the manage advantage, but they were working great baiting and switching both players. Unfortunately, TP was not able to connect right there. Wheats able to get the better angle on him, finishing at 12 and 5 on a four kill streak. Wheats was the man that game for automatic reload, giving them the win. They are going to move on to the winner's bracket. Optic Nation getting bumped down, I believe, with their co-partners in Optic Gaming down towards losers. Yeah, it would seem to be that way. So hopefully both those teams can make a big struggle effort there coming out of that losers bracket side of things and perhaps answer back as these guys will get set ready for action for the next matches. Ladies and gentlemen, next up here, however, on the Delta, on the 
Bravo stream. It is going to be Prophecy up against SB. So a great match to come. So if you want to stick around for that, feel free to do so. If not, there are other matches happening on other streams. Until next time, I was Biohazard. We're joined by Chance. We'll be back very soon after this break.